the Studio Files. Today I'm going to show you how to use DB33, DigiDesign's new B3 organ emulation. I'm going to insert it on my first insert of this instrument track. Now DB33 is an awesome tool and it sounds great, so I'm just going to show you some of the basic functions. First, I'll play some notes. Now, these are the draw bars. By pulling these in and out, I'm going to be adding more or less harmonic series. So let me push them all in to start, and you'll just hear very low. Now as I begin to pull these out, you'll hear the higher harmonics added. Next to that is the scanner vibrato. Let's turn it on, and if I just hold these notes and scan through, you can see what the different variations sound like. Now the key click is a percussive attack on the beginning of your notes, so if I turn it all the way down, I'll have a sort of soft attack. And if I turn it all the way up, I'm going to have a nice click at the beginning of everything. Percussion is kind of similar with a little more tonal options. Let's turn it on, and then you have a choice between loud and soft, short and long, and the different harmonics. Let's just leave it as it is, and you can hear it. Let's turn it off to compare. One more option on the front here is the speed of the Leslie. Let's turn it on slow and hear what this sounds like. And now if I crank it up to fast, listen to the sound change. One final knob on the front here is the tone wheels. You can change between dirty, used, new, and a couple of different options. These are going to give you slight variations in the color best thing to do is just mess around with different settings and see which one you like the best. Now if you click on the cabinet button down here, you have a lot more options. The first stage is the input, whether you're using an external input to the cabinet, or in this case we're using the organ. So, Now Leslie's have a tube preamp. And on this, we've got three different options here. We've got the character knob, which is going to change the tone. We've got a drive, which is going to increase the gain to the tube and give us some more distortion. And finally, we've got a high cut, which is going to take out some of the highs. Let's move on to the mic section. This knob will set the relative level between the mic on the drum and the mic on the horn. And the second knob will just do the stereo spread. Now this speed control is exactly the same as the one on the front of the organ. You just have a few more options. Let's turn it to slow. Now the slow rate, you can control exactly how fast the slow rate is, so let's turn it all the way down. And for the fast rate, let's turn it all the way up so there's a good difference. And this accelerate, decelerate knob will designate how quickly the organ goes from fast to slow. So let's put it up pretty high. So if I play it slow and then flick the switch to fast, listen to it change now. You have to mess with these to taste depending on the song you're doing. And finally there's a master output which will just turn the master output down. So that's a really quick introduction to DB33, Digit Design's awesome new B3 organ emulator.